Hi there, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and Artist Tablet books. In this video, Working with Layers, we will discuss the basics of layers in the layer panel. Layers reside above the image canvas and give you flexibility to create elements and brushwork separate from the image canvas. Painter has default layers and several kinds of media layers, for instance, real watercolor layers and thick paint layers. The image that I have here is Borrego and it's at the rough color stage. As you see in the layers panel, I have the sketch that is above a stack of layers and these are thick paint media layers. And then on the bottom, I have a canvas that is a buff color. I can turn on and off the sketch in other words, hide and show it, and I can hide and show elements that I have painted on individual layers. There are layer commands in the layers menu that we have here in the main menu bar, and then on the layers panel here, many of the commands are mirrored. If the layers panel is not open, you can open it by choosing Window, Layers. Mac, you could type Command 4, Windows, Control 4 to hide and show the Layers panel. Let's talk about the Layer panel. At the very top of the Layers panel, we have the Composite Method pop-up menu. Right now, my sketch layer is set to default, but we have other useful composite methods. As you can see, if you're familiar with Photoshop, some of the ones in Painter are similar to certain blending modes in Photoshop. To the right, we have the Composite Depth menu, which is useful when you're working with Impasto. Here we have the Layer Stack, and we have the little eye icon that allows you to hide and then display each layer. To the far right, of the layer name, we have the little icon that lets us know what type of layer this is. As you see, the thick paint layer icons are different, and then the canvas, it's just one little rectangle, whereas the default layer up here shows a few little rectangles. Down in the very bottom of the panel, we have the Layer Commands button, and I'm just going to click right here. You see uh, group layers, ungroup layers, collapse layers, and drop. Here we have the dynamic plugins, and these are special effects that you can apply to layers. Here we have the new layer button. If we click it, we'll create a new layer, which we're going to be doing a little bit later in the video. And here is the new layer mask button if we want to add a new layer mask to a layer. And then here we have the lock layer button, which allows us to lock a layer so that it cannot be edited. In other words, it cannot be painted on or moved. And then to the far right, the trash can allows us to delete a layer. And then again, these three little horizontal bars, if we click it, we can display the pop-up menu with all of the different options for layers. And lastly, for the layers panel, I wanted to mention three more very important buttons. Here we have Preserve Transparency that allows us to lock the transparency on a layer so that if we have existing pixels on the layer, any new paint that we apply will just be within areas that have already been painted. Next, we have Pick Up Underlying Color that's very useful if Say, for instance, you have a layer underneath and you're, and you're painting on a new layer above it and you want to pull up some color from underneath while you're applying new paint on your new layer. And then finally, the opacity. I can adjust the opacity of my sketch layer, see here, down to 20% and then back up to 100%. Next, we're going to do some painting on a pen and ink drawing and we're going to paint on 
layers that we add to the document. Here we have my pen and ink sketch of a Garibaldi fish that I drew on the canvas. We'll add a little touch of color on a layer. I want to keep the color separate from my pen and ink sketch. I'm going to click the new layer button to add a new layer and this is a default layer. I have the digital watercolor category chosen in the brush selector and the broad water brush chosen and I have a sea blue chosen and I can just make some broad strokes you notice with this digital watercolor category that my composite method has changed to gel in the layers panel. So I'm just going to quickly block in some color on the layer. Now for the fish, I'm going to add another new layer and I'm going to choose a bright orange for my Garibaldi. And still staying with the broad water brush, I'm going to add some color onto the fish. You see the digital watercolor blends very nicely. Get a little bit of brighter yellow and add some highlights. So there you go. I can hide and show my layers. We're going to be talking more about layers in future videos. Enjoy Painter and happy painting!